Well, that was good news, but you know what's bad news? The situation where the sheep got his head stuck in a fence, that's bad news. So, I don't know if these dudes are farmers or backpackers or what, but one of them takes it upon himself to finagle the sheep's head out of the fence. Wow, thanks for the rescue, dude. Just, you know, toss me down a fucking mountain. Come on, guys, you can't just rescue something and then toss it aside like, come on, I almost got it. It's a girl. And the dudes in the video celebrate like they're heroes or something. Yeah! But lucky for the sheep, he seems okay. If you look at the footage, he gets up and walks away. And that's great and all that the sheep is safe, but what if Superman did that? What if Superman flew in to rescue you and then dropped your ass? I'll save you. Oh, thank you. Ah. Now this video is really good, mainly because it deals with one of my favorite things. So it looks like this is a classroom or an office in Australia, maybe? And this little bastard here just cannot stay awake. Because you gotta draw it all up yourself and time to print it and time to get the layout correct. So that means Monday. Oh, that's, he's so cute. Somebody get him some Adderall. Oh, look, I mean, he's sleepy. It's just like my girlfriend during sex. No, I'm just kidding. We don't have sex. Sex, what? Gross. I mean, what is it about baby animals trying to stay awake that's so fucking cute? There's even this one part where he wakes up and tries to shake it off. Finish it. So here's an obvious question. Why doesn't he just fall asleep? I mean, he's a duck. What responsibilities could he possibly have? Man, I don't got time for a nap today. I got stuff to do. I gotta eat crackers. I gotta go and quack it. shit. You know me, and you know I love commercials, especially when they're done well and when they're memorable. And trust me, this one's very memorable. Mainly because it's a real estate agent in San Diego who wraps his commercial. Welcome to the 619 San Diego, the place where the tourists come and say you should go. Got beaches, fine dining, hiking and Legos, even killer whales are nice and playful. Now not too long ago the housing market fell flat, foreclosures, toxic loans and all of that. In sight was the death of the American dream, homeownership is back, now the new routine. The rules of real estate are no longer the same, basic fundamentals is the name of the game. It's not about buy, hold, flip for rookie. It's about building a home or positive cash flow. Well, that's uh, pretty gangster. Hey, you can criticize his methods all you want, but this dude's just trying to keep it real. Estate. I'm playing around. I actually really like what this guy's doing, but it seems like he's a little narcoleptic in his rap, like he's about to fall asleep. Set your goal, write it down, continue forward. Your American dream, your daily routine, working hard every day, a future you'll build. Provide for your family a castle from skills, a place to raise the kids, or a cash flow machine. Which do you prefer? Welcome to the 619 San Diego, the place where you... You gotta give it more energy, man. You're putting my duck to sleep. Oh, best part, his initials are rap. Eh? Huh? Eh? Huh? Clever girl. No, I like this a lot. It's really creative. But if the guy's gonna rap, he should've come out all gangster. You flip houses, motherfucker! Oh, and guys, the last line is the best as the song fades out. Representing for the 805 and the 619. You know, I actually wondered if this commercial was fake as part of some sketch, and there's a number on the screen, and it's a public number, so I called it. Hello. Please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to reach. Jose Alperez. Hey, we don't want to buy a house or anything. We just wanted to say that we really like your commercial, and good luck with your business, man. <laughs> That's uh, pretty gangster. Pretty, pretty hard. Pretty hard in the hood. Pretty G. That's pretty street. I bet he f***ed the other real estate agents up. Blasts on them and shit. He didn't come from the ghetto, but he sold all of the houses and then the value, the, the property value dropped and it eventually became the ghetto. Why are you doing that? Whoa, whoa. 